What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Today we're going to look at a Pro Audio Amplifier by Crown. This is actually one of their kind of lower end models. The XLI 1500 retails for $339. That's what I paid for it a couple years ago on Amazon. So we're going to test it out today. Although they say it's a 450 watt amplifier, it's actually a two channels. It's 450 by two at four ohms. 330 by 2 at 8 ohms or 900 watts bridge at 8 ohms. So let's take it out of the box here and see what it's all about. First thing you'll notice is this thing is heavy. Heavy duty, well built, all that good stuff. On the front panel here, you can see there's two different gain adjustments for channel 1, channel 2. And there's also a fault clip and signal light for each of the channels. And the power button in the middle with the power LED. Here on the back of the amp, you can see the various different connections. We'll get to those here momentarily when we show you each one. But what I can tell you is it's nice because it has multiple different types of outputs and multiple types of inputs. It also has a circuit breaker here and a standard IEC power plug. This is a 120 volt model for the US. Then we have binding posts for the speaker outputs in addition to speak on outputs for speakers. There are two large fans then there are XLR as well as RCA inputs, and then a switch for stereo, parallel, or bridge for the function mode, and also a sensitivity adjustment switch. As I stated earlier, this is kind of the lower end on the Crown Series amplifiers, but they are packed with features. And as far as specs go, you can pause this if you want to read it, but everything here, really impressive for this amplifier. As far as dimensions go, standard 19 inch for the rack mount. The depth is 12.4 inches and the height is 3.5 inches or 89 millimeters. Now I can't tell you how many professional DJs have asked me over and over, please dyno some professional amplifiers. So I'm going to do that. But before I do that, make sure you check the video description for Wilson Audio Merch and smack me a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. All right, so first up, we're going to run the amp in the stereo mode. We're going to try 8 ohms first. It's rated 330 watts by 2. You can see we're using 12 gauge speaker wire going into the binding post. We're using RCAs for the inputs coming out of the Alpine head unit. And we're going to power it up. Check out the LEDs. The faults come on first. And then it's ready to go. So here we go. This is a 1 kilohertz signal going to the amp. And certified test goes up to 1% THD. Rated 350. Yes, sir. 417, 413. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy! Next up, we'll try the dynamic test. Again, rated 350 watts by channel, per channel. Look at this, 500 watts. 510 and 495 at 8 ohms. And again, the voltage here is just the voltage of the dyno. We're 120 volts going into the amp. Next up, 4 ohm stereo. It's rated 450 by 2. Certified test takes us up to 1%. Total harmonic distortion. Check this out. What? 634 and 618. Talk about underrated. Crown for the win. Dynamic boost. Burst. I can't even talk. You big dummy. Look at this. 820 watts dynamically into 4 ohms. Incredible. Now we're going to bridge the amp at 8 ohms. It's rated 900 watts mono. And you can see here via the diagram how this is accomplished. If you're using the binding post, you use the two inside terminals for bridging. The one on the left is the negative, one on the right is the positive. But it's very important that you switch the mode in the back to bridge and you only use one input. Because if you use two, it won't work. <laughs> Don't ask me because you'll know why I did it and it didn't work. So this way it does work. Check this out. 1244 watts, 13.3. And this was done at 40 hertz, not 1 kilohertz. That is impressive, my friends. Dynamically, let's try it out again. A 40 hertz burst tone. Look at this. This amp has got some reserve power. 1,540 watts at 8 ohms bridge mono. Just incredible there. Here are the, all the results. I didn't show all the tests, including the uncertified and all that. But 8 ohms stereo, 4 ohms mono. It didn't really want to run anything less. Like I tried 2 ohm stereo. And it just, it worked, but it gave out lower numbers. You can pause this if you'd like to see all the different numbers from all the different dyno tests. All right, next up, we're going to see what's inside. 
Again, as I mentioned earlier, this amp is heavy. What you'll notice is it's heavily weighted on the right side, right where this big bolt is going into the top. And you'll see why once we take all the screws off the side and the back, lift it up. Look at that transformer here on the right side. It's massive. The signal input there is on the left. The output devices and heat sinks are kind of there in the middle. And the transformer and power supply section are over on the right. This thing is a beast. Check out these filtering caps, 63 volt, 10,000 microfarad. There's four of them here. And again, this transformer is just massive. You can pause this if you want to read all the specs on it. 120 volt, 60 hertz. It is a massive, heavy, super heavy, super big. And I kind of, to give you a comparison here, I laid a CD on it. You can see how much bigger the transformer is than a CD. The speaker output transistors here are on really nice finned aluminum heat sinks very beefy now let's talk about the things we like the crown quality of course class a b sound quality has rca and xlr inputs binding post and speaker speak on outputs the power output obviously it does its rated power plus some more it is bridging capable and it has a clipping indicator which is really nice on each channel as far as things that could be better, it is heavy. This is a class AB amplifier, unlike the class Ds, which are much lighter. It doesn't have any VU meters. Yeah, I know I'm picky on that. The class AB efficiency is not all that great, and it's not too ohm stable, unfortunately. All right, guys, there you have my test of the Crown XLI 1500. Quite impressive pro audio amplifier as far as power output goes, features, price, all that stuff. This amp kicks some butt. Thanks as always for watching, liking, sharing my videos. Special thanks to Stuart, Travis, Jesus, Tomcat, Big D. I'm out of here. All right, while we're bridged, we're gonna try four ohms bridge dynamically, 40 hertz, see if it'll run. Yeah, it looks like it clamps down on the signal. 797. So it definitely doesn't like the low ohms. All right. So after some trials and tribulation with this dumb pivotal seat, had a hard time getting the angle of that six millimeter correct to get the other one off, but I did. You can also see that I got the white brake pads on. Yeah, there we go. These are not the best brakes. You know, these are kind of the generic ones. And I don't understand why they didn't come with front brakes. I mean, this is a Haru Master, which is a flatland bike. And I don't like the black lever here. So, got to fix that. Got to get a white brake cable. Got to also probably get rid of this black seat post clamp. Maybe some blue pedals. I don't know. Not real digging the black ones. But yeah, I think it's coming together. What do you guys think? Looks pretty sweet. It is a 24 inch. So those of us who are a little bit too big in more ways than one to ride a 20 inch, this is just really cool. It looks just like a 1986 Haro Master. It doesn't have the frame stands back here, nor does it have any on the front. Again, this is a remake. They did an okay job, but they definitely did not do it all the way. And I like that chain ring better than the one that was on there. Cause this one's actually for a later, really a later eighties, like an 87 or 88 Haro. So it doesn't really even match the 86 style here. But yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. Got a little bit more work to do on it. Put some front brakes, put a gyro, all that fun stuff. Maybe get some pegs just for fun. Try not to kill myself, but I will have some fun. But let me, get, let me know what you guys think. Comments below. Willie Williston here with the Haro Freestyler Master Dennis McCoy Edition 2020.